Hey everybody, um, I wanted to make a video today talking about ABS and why you should be using ABS if uh, you're printing any kind of uh, functional parts uh, for your business and, and uh, you're looking to increase profits. ABS versus PLA is definitely the way to go. Um, these machines run 24-7 and they've been running 24 7 for the past six months i think i got somewhere around 3,000 hours on some of these machines others i got about 2,000 hours uh, because i added them later to the print farm but i made a discovery that maybe it's common knowledge i don't know but i want to share this with you because it has uh, significantly uh, made a difference in my profit margins that maybe most people aren't aware of so um, I use Xyltech ABS. Um, they're they're a pretty good filament and it's inexpensive. I can get a spool of ABS for eight dollars a kilogram, and their PLA uh, I can get it for thirteen bucks a kilogram. The only thing is that you have to order a hundred spools at a time, uh, which is fine for me because um, you know the, the the farm basically runs all day, twenty four seven. So I can go through the filament. But what I'm talking about here is uh, I made this little quick comparison chart. I don't really want to do any editing, so I just wrote it all down. But um, I wrote down uh, the this is an example of printing a 3D Benchy, uh, which everybody's familiar with. So if I use the number for the PLA that I um, for the price that I can get PLA at, which is the cheapest that I found, by the way, online, $13 a kilogram and for ABS eight dollars a kilogram now I use the profiles on my uh, bamboo lab x1 carbons that I have over there and you can go on bamboo studio and do this experiment too if you know you want to see for yourself but I loaded the 3d benchy STL file and I used a PLA profile uh, for the x1 carbon and the print time for that was 41 minutes and 44 seconds or 40 seconds which totals to 2,500 seconds, right? Uh, for ABS, however, if you just simply change the material to ABS, it prints faster, 35 minutes and 10 seconds, or 2,100 seconds in total. Now, what's even more interesting is that the weight of the, of the Benchy is heavier in PLA. So not only does it take longer to print, it uses more material, and the material is more expensive. For ABS, it only uses 9.98 or, or 10 kilo, or 10 grams rather. So with this math, I wanted to kind of make an example here. So let's say this 3D Benchy took an hour to print. Uh, you can make 24 of these in a day if you're printing with PLA. If you're printing with ABS, you can make 28 of them in a day. Now let's say you're selling those Benchies for $3 each. So, in, in theory, your 3D printer would make $27 a day. Out of ABS, they would make $84 a day. Now, here's the thing. If you subtract your cost of the filament, let's say it just goes through an entire spool uh, for these, for these uh, benchies. Well, the cost of that spool was $13. Your profit is now $59 for PLA. But for ABS your profit is $76. That's 24% more just because you're printing an ABS. To me, that, that's pretty significant because the print farm runs basically all year round. I, I, I 3D print stuff for people. I 3D print for myself. I made a product and I sell it online. So this is, this is significant. This 24% increase in profits is significant so I don't know how many people are aware of that um, I know that there's challenges with printing with ABS but I can tell you that the Q1 Pro is an ABS printing monster I mean I think this is the best I, I mean Chidi doesn't even know who I am they don't they don't pay me they don't care about my channel or anything like that but I'm just telling you that the the Q1 Pro is the best value out there for printing ABS and I made a few videos on it already about the filtration system uh, that I that I designed and made here 
Um, I have air quality monitors. I have one there. I have another one there. And then I recently got another one here um, to check, you know, just to make sure that the air in, in my shop here is is good quality air. And I mean, this 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 whole room is well ventilated because of the Q1 Pro um, and its ability to maintain the chamber temperature. So if you're looking for increased profits, if you want to make parts that, I mean, just ABS in general is a much better material. It, it's heat, heat resistant, it's stronger, it's cheaper, it prints faster. I mean, there's reason, in my opinion, I know the, the color selection is not as great as something like uh, PLA because you get silks and you get these um, color changing filaments and gradients and all that. Honestly, I don't care about that because I'm printing functional prints and I make money with functional prints. And yeah, just a PLA is, in my opinion, not the go-to for me anymore. Actually, I don't even print with PLA anymore. It's all ABS. So I wanted to drop this video because some people may not be aware of that. You get more material out of a one kilogram spool of ABS than PLA and it's cheaper. So yeah, consider getting ABS or printing an ABS. If you don't have a machine that can print ABS, skip the bamboo and go straight for the Q1 Pro because it's definitely worth it. All right, that's it guys. Let me know what you think. And then uh, I'll drop another video about the Q1, how everything that I've done with it, and just why I think it's an awesome machine. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks.